Hey everybody, it's Alex Miller at Captain Man here. I'm going to be the change I want to see in the world, and I'm going to say some specific practical things about AI. I have a philosophy I'll articulate here called Dreaming with Discipline. And if you hear anything you like, feel free to click the Schedule Appointment button. I'd love to hear about you and help you do this. I think it's important that you do do it. The high-level idea, the dreaming part, is that you need a wish list of, well, what kind of AI product could I build or buy that would make a really transformative difference for my business? And then the discipline part is, then you need to ask some questions about, is this achievable now? Why not? What would have to change for me or somebody else to achieve it? How long do I think that might take? And then also there are squishier questions that you need to think about carefully, like how well does it need to work and on what axes? AI is real hyped. That's a problem. You can't really ignore the hype. We can all see the potential and dream cool dreams that seem very plausible about things AI could do. It's pretty challenging in practice and challenging for a lot of squishy reasons involving multiple forms of knowledge. Why some of these dreams don't work out. And I think well, how well does it have to work is a great question. You see a lot of discussion of the hallucination problem apropos of LLMs. You don't want to expose something to the public that's going to make stuff up and embarrass you. These things are never going to be perfect. There are no perfect things in the mortal world in general. And it becomes both a very businessy and very technical conversation. Well, how much is this thing going to hallucinate? What kind of hallucinations might we get? And then how damaging are they? Squishy conversations can take a long time. They can stall. And there's going to be a moment where a starting gun goes off in your industry. And it might not be today. It could be five years from now, IMO. But the day that comes, you don't want to start a slow, complex, interdepartmental conversation. You want to be off the blocks. And if you are off the blocks fast, that is going to make a huge competitive difference for you that maybe provides an advantage you can extend a long time. Time is money. So you want to make a list and then you need to discipline that list in a lot of detail. How could I do this? When's it going to be ready? And really the more detail and just general specificity you can provide, is everything about making that possible future squishy conversation a quick one and being the impactful early adopter and not falling behind. So I want to give an example now. I'm going to give just a single wish list for a random industry. I should say I know absolutely nothing about fashion, so sorry if I screwed this part up. Let's say I'm selling clothes. I want to sell clothes on Pinterest. To sell clothes on Pinterest, I want to show people nice pictures of beautiful people wearing the clothes and do it in a way that evokes emotions I want people to associate with my brand. So what do I have to do to do this? I need a model. Uh, I need a photographer. I have to do some logistics. Like where are these things going to happen? Or I could pay somebody to do these things. You can see, maybe it would be super cool to have the model take the pictures in Venice, but now things are getting kind of expensive. Maybe I want some very specific kind of model that I can't find. Well, well, well. There are all kinds of amazing AI tools where you can just describe an image and the AI will give it to you. So going you know, the dreaming part 
it's certainly plausible you could build something and just text inputs about what I want in an ad, get the ads, perfect ads, anything you want. Wearing the clothes, particular environment, holding something, every little detail of the model, any kind of setting you want. And then you could even imagine doing these things programmatically. So I don't even have a human a lot of the time having to type in exactly what kind of ad I have. I have a big file of potential customers I know are on Pinterest and things they might like. And I'm procedurally generating these prompts to make very specific ads for these individual people showing them things that they find appealing. I am once again, not a fashion guy. If you did a really good job with something like this, I think it would be a really amazing slam dunk. And then the question is, and now we're transitioning to the discipline part, is this achievable? I am absolutely sure somebody out there is working on it now, and there is some form of it out there. I doubt it is all of the features that I want, and that when you use one of these image generation tools, the more stuff you put into the prompt, the more risk there is that something doesn't come through. The more things don't come through, the more likely it is that the things that don't come through were actually kind of important. And I get some kind of output that's kind of insane, and now I'm embarrassing myself. So something that's important to point out here is that well, my dream is realistic. There's probably some form of my dream available now. Is that form of my dream good enough? And if not, what is good enough and when do I expect to see it? This is really important, once again, because the day that this technology appears in the form I want, maybe it's going to be a really big deal and it's going to make a lot of difference to be ahead of other people in adopting it and getting good at it. And it's actually kind of a complicated problem and could be a complicated conversation inside your organization about just how to do this. Can we do it? Why are we doing it? You want to be ahead of that conversation and know why this is the set of features that makes a big difference. This is how I know that these key things have been achieved in the necessary way. I have the argument why we need to do this now, because now means a whole lot relative to having a period of paralysis by analysis and being behind. To bring it full circle, yeah, the AI hype is out there. You can't chase the hype, but also you need to be paying attention in a disciplined way for the moment when you are supposed to scramble to buy some particular AI thing because it's coming soon. You need to dream with discipline in a specific way.